New Jersey. And today, uh, today is uh, Gun Violence Awareness Day in New Jersey. And we're joined today uh, by Karen Cantor from the uh, Brady Campaign, a national organization uh, that addresses uh, gun violence issues and gun violence prevention. And uh, thank you so much for being here with us today, Karen. It's a, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I, I'm really so glad to have this opportunity to talk to um, the social workers uh, of New Jersey. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, it's absolutely, you know, we, we had discussed having this conversation a few weeks ago before the craziness of the last weeks even, uh, but there's just been so much nightmarish violence. It's, 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 it's incomprehensible. Uh, you know, we had Oklahoma yesterday, we had Uvalde last week, we had Buffalo the week before that. And it's just, it's just mind numbing. Uh, it's absolutely uh, insane the, the kind of carnage that is going on right now. Um, and, and with that in mind, I mean, this is probably a, a really good opportunity to give you a chance maybe to share a little bit about what Brady is doing uh, to address some of these issues and, uh, and how social workers and other uh, concerned citizens uh, can get involved in making a difference. Well, first of all, uh, you know, during the pandemic, there was a huge increase in gun purchases. So uh, the 300% in New Jersey alone and across the country, but 300% in New Jersey. And we know that with more guns, there's more gun violence. So um, this was um, not surprising tragically that it was not, uh, you know, uh, they did not do anything to uh, uh, guide us in terms of gun laws. We in New Jersey are really working very hard, Brady in particular. So for example, for a second. sure. Oh, so we lost your feed for a second, but it sounds like you're back. Okay, so in New Jersey, for example, we have had an increase in gun violence because of the, uh, there are more, there are just more guns out there. And even though we do have very strict gun laws, which has put us in the fourth lowest gun rate in the country, because we have such strict gun laws, we have to continue to do better. So if people uh, can call their legislator and urge people, urge their legislator to help pass the governor's 3.0 gun safety package, we will, we can start to reduce some of these uh, um, gun violence incidents. There are things like safe storage bill that we're trying to pass. It used the gun, safe storage gun uh, safety bill that we have right now is to put it uh, put the gun in a place that a reasonable person would think it's safe. Now that is very vague and we don't, and you may think one thing is reasonable and I may think another thing is reasonable. So we are asking that uh, the gold standard is put the gun unloaded and the NRA agrees with this surprisingly, right? You wouldn't know that. Put the gun in a safe and the ammunition in a separate place, gun locked. You know, it's got to be locked. We are really urging people to call in New Jersey, and I know you. we are all here in New Jersey, to call their state legislators, which you can find on uh, the NJ legislator directory. And to, because I know a lot of us don't know who our legis state legislators are, but really urge them to uh, pass this, this bill. Um, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, for people that are trying to, uh, figure out who their state legislators are um, if they want to make those kind of calls. Uh, if you go to the, ed, the website, njleg.state.nj.us, there is a link to find your legislator. You can look it up just by putting your town in. Exactly. You who your state senator is and who your two uh, state assembly persons are. And it will give you uh, phone numbers and I think even uh, email contacts as well for you to be able to reach out to them directly. 
you know, oftentimes people don't think that these uh, calls make a difference, but they do. They need to hear from their constituents that this is on their minds. And if they don't hear from these from from everybody, then they think, ah, you know, it's not such a big deal. So the more they hear from us, from all of us, uh, the more pressing they'll they'll take this issue. Yeah. And federally, federally, we need to, you know, uh, we need to call Mitch McConnell and we need to urge him to pass universal background checks mm -hmm. and ban assault weapons. I mean, I'm, we're fortunate in New Jersey that we have really great uh, uh, national representatives with our uh, state representatives and our um, senators. Uh, but there are, and if you have uh, relatives in Florida or any of the other Michigan, Minnesota, Idaho, wherever, please urge them to call their um, representatives to pass some basic um, gun safety legislation. That would yeah, be Yeah, it's um, a agree a hundred percent. And I'm actually, I'm on our Facebook page now and I'm just putting a, a link to the NJ legislature's website in there. Uh, so people that are watching this uh, can see it. But it, it's so important for everyday folks, you know, even if you're not usually involved with uh, with political stuff, so important to get out and make those calls because honestly, legislators, folks at the state level, Congress people, they're used to hearing from advocates like Karen from organizations right. like Brady and, and Moms Demand Action. Um, right. and, and they listen when organizations like that or NASW are talking, but we're not the folks that are electing them. And what really makes a difference, what really gets their attention is when somebody calls up and says, I'm a constituent in your district and, and this is what I, I need from you. Like that gets their attention because I'm not voting for all, you know, 80 assembly people in New right. Jersey. My vote is just for two assembly people in my district. Um, right. So, you know, when when people from their own districts contact them, you know, that really makes a difference to legislators. You know, it, it's, you know, it, for every for every, you know, one person that reaches out, that's probably as effective as like 10 uh, Absolutely. from an advocacy organization reaching out. Absolutely. And it takes really literally two minutes. Make the phone call, talk to somebody, tell tell them to support the uh uh, governor's uh, gun safety bit package, and that's all you have to say. You know, tell them you're a constituent, but just let them know that it's on your mind and you want them to support this package in New Jersey. Yeah. So yeah. And like you said, it's so important to reach out to folks in other states too, because New Jersey's senators and most of New Jersey's congressional delegation is is supportive of background checks and, and other measures to uh, to limit access to dangerous weapons. Uh, but there are folks in other states, you know, whose whose uh, representatives uh, do not lean that way. And so if you can encourage folks to make those calls to let their uh, officials uh, know, you know, this is what we desire. I mean, it's so important. You know, uh, I think it was Sarah Silverman who did a video. Uh, it was kind of funny. You know, I, I think she sang a song about calling your Jewish grandmother down in Florida to right to tell her that she has to, uh, you know, make these kind of calls and, and to vote for gun safety candidates. So we got to we got to get in there and we got to call our call our family, relatives, friends and um, and encourage them to do the right thing. We want to yeah. save lives. We don't want to take guns. We want to save lives. And that's the important message. The gun people may, uh, the Second Amendment people will come back and say, you just want to take our guns. Do not be deterred by that because that is not accurate. We want to save lives. We want to have reasonable laws in place. So that's the focus of, uh, of the work that all the gun violence prevention organizations do is to try to reduce gun violence. Yeah. We're not looking to challenge uh, the right of people to have a gun right now. Absolutely. Um, Karen, if people are interested in getting involved with Brady, um, how can they do that here in New Jersey? Very e easily, just go to bradyunited.org 
and you'll see a connection to the New Jersey chapter. You can just reach out to them and say, I wanna be connected to people in New Jersey. And it's, we just make it simple, simple bradyunited.org. Yeah, Steve Kerr did a great, um, uh, Steve Kerr, who's the coach of the Warriors, did a great uh, video for us um, talking about the need for reasonable gun laws. Everybody's trying, everybody who's reasonable. Yeah. Uh, um, well, let's, I mean, I, I don't wanna keep you for too, too long today, Karen, but I mean, let's let's pivot back really quickly to um, to gun safety issues. I mean, that that's a big concern. I mean, we, you know, we've, we've spent a lot of time today talking about um, mass gun violence uh, and, and those types of, of horrific incidences. Uh, but there's also a, a significant number of gun deaths and suicides uh, related to access to guns. And, and that's why the safe storage is so important. It's not just to limit access to guns for, for children and, and teenagers who may, you know, who aren't ready to have access to those weapons and we need to make sure that they're stored safely. But also when a gun is, is in a locked cabinet, when the ammunition is kept separate from the gun, it's a built-in cool down period so that somebody who's experiencing a mental health crisis and, and who may be feeling they want to harm themselves and has access to a gun, if they have to take five minutes in order to access that firearm, it's it's a built-in cool down, right? It's gonna it's gonna exactly. slow down some of that impulsive action and give you a chance to reconsider. Um, and I know that there's a uh, an acronym uh, that they use for safe. I don't know if you remember it offhand. I've I've got it written down. Yeah. Too. So uh, they they did they did safely store your secure all your firearms. Ask if you're, when your children are going over to someone's house, ask somebody to, uh, if they're gun, if they have a gun. I know that it's a, some, this, this has to be, uh, become um, just part of parents' uh, to-do list because uh, we wanna protect our children. And unfortunately, eight children a day are hit by guns accidentally. And so we don't want that to happen to our child. So if your child is going over somebody's house, please ask them if they have a gun. Okay, if they do, how is it stored? And if they say, well, I keep it uh, in the closet, then you may wanna rethink this and have the child come over to your house because that is not safe. Kids go in, they're curious and um, they will use the gun. Uh, so that's A. Uh, F is frequently, and they said to frequently uh, talk to children about the danger of guns, but I think it should be frequently give your children hugs. And then E is educate and, and talk to your friends about this. Just uh, spread the word. We really need to make sure that guns are safely stored. And, and let me be very clear again about this. I'll repeat this again. A gun needs to be stored unloaded. The gun in a locked place in one place and the ammunition in another. And as Jeff was saying, just how all the research that they're doing now shows that that cool down period of time because gun suicides, unfortunately, are the largest source of, of gun violence. 60% of gun violence is gun suicides. So if we can, as you said, put in some, some time between that impulse, that feeling of despair, and when they uh, actually have access, um, then we're, we may be able to save some lives. And uh, it just shows the means makes a difference. You know, lethal means will have a lethal outcome. So that's why we're really urging people and, and you may be surprised, by the way, about who has a gun because there's, because with the uh, pandemic, more, more people uh, wanted to have a gun because there was some unknown fear out there that they felt 
that a gun uh, would uh, be necessary in order to protect them. I am not clear about what that was, but people did feel that and uh, as a result got a gun. And now people are holding guns in their homes and are, are oftentimes not well versed in um, how to take care of it safely. Right, I mean, we, and, and you know, having limits on access in general is so important. I mean, you know, we, we license access to automobiles because they are mm -hmm. vehicles. Uh, and we recognize that there needs to be controls on those. We need to know who has access to vehicles and we need to limit, you know, the age range where people have access to vehicles. Um, and, and arguably cars are, are a far less dangerous instrument than, uh, you know, a, an automatic, a semi-automatic weapon uh, that could be used yeah. to uh -huh. multiple people in, in, in seconds. Uh, so, you know, we really, we just need to, you know, make sure that we know who has access to guns, that we know, you know, where they're getting them from, that they're going through legal sources exactly. and background checks in place that we can, you know, can limit the black, the black market guns as best we can, mm -hmm. that we can limit the ghost guns and the mm -hmm. 3D assemble at home. I mean, that's the stuff we, we really need to be capable, uh, we need to be on the lookout for and then making sure that we're, you know, we're taking steps to, to, to limit the amount of guns uh, that people have access to. So in New Jersey, absolutely. In New Jersey, we banned ghost guns, right? We banned the assault weapon. Um, and we've done, we've done a lot of things to uh, get ahead of this. Uh, but unfortunately, we are a, a country, right? And so we and we don't do we don't do checks when uh, cars come across into our state, and they found that eighty percent of guns uh, that are involved in crimes are from out of state. So um, that's why we also at the, at the same time as we're plugging for state laws, we also need to plug for uh, national laws, so that we can all be protected. Well, Karen, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate you visiting with us today and and sharing all this information with our with our audience on Facebook. Um, is there is there anything else that you wanted to add or close with? Uh, today? I, I, and you know, I know a lot of people feel despair, and I'm urging you to let that feeling. I understand that feeling, but don't let it win. Okay, we need to. We need to fight that and, and we need to do whatever we can to uh, make this end. So I appreciate Jeff, I appreciate your uh, letting uh, me speak and talk about some of the things we can do. And uh, I appreciate all the social workers out there who continue to do the work uh, that is so important in our, in, in our country. Thank you. Thanks so much, Karen. Don't forget, reach out to your legislators uh, in New Jersey, let them know, support the gun control 3.0 package. Um, that's one of the biggest things you can do to make a difference here in New Jersey. And uh, thank you all for joining us today. And, uh, you know, reach out to Brady, bradyunited.org uh, for more information and resources. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.